Just a few years ago, to travel by a road in northern Uganda would have risked being ambushed, abducted or even killed by one of Africa's most brutal rebel groups, the Lord's Resistance Army. Civilian vehicles, heavily armoured World Food Programme convoys and even Ugandan army units were often attacked by the LRA. The fact people now feel safe to travel is a positive sign peace has finally arrived in this troubled region. For over two decades, the LRA have been terrorising northern Uganda. Their initial aim was to defend the rights of the neglected Acholi population. Those aims, however, quickly disappeared as they embarked on a brutal campaign, abducting tens of thousands of young people, forcing them to fight. Girls were given as wives to the commanders as they murdered, raped and looted their way through Uganda and Sudan. The fighting between the rebels and the Ugandan army forced over 1.8 million people, or 90% of the Acholi population, from their homes into squalid IDP camps. In 2006, the LRA marched north out of Uganda into Sudan to take part in peace talks, bringing calm to the region for the first time in many years. The small village of Lazira could symbolise what many other northern Ugandan villages have experienced. 72-year-old Akida Mariana, mother of 11 children, was born here but had to flee in 2002 with the rest of the village to Patonga Displaced Persons Camp due to continued attacks. They spent five years surviving in this single hut, unable to work or tend to their fields for fear of attack by the LRA. Like many other families, one of her sons were killed and two more were abducted, such as Charles Odong. They were just young children who abducted me. They had guns. After nine months in captivity, Charles finally managed to escape after being shot twice in an ambush. After the LRA had left Uganda, Mariana and her family felt it was safe enough to leave the camp and return to their home village of Lazira. The normal rhythms of life are now returning to this peaceful village. However, memories of the war are constantly present. Former abductees from Lazira who were forced to terrorise their own village have also returned home and now live amongst the families they once attacked. Abu Kala was abducted for six years when she was 18 years old. I was abducted from here in this village of Luzira. We would loot food stuff, we would abduct uh, people, and then sometimes they would also order us to kill. I, I, I felt very bad doing what I was forced to do because that, that was not my intention, that was not what I felt I should do as a an independent person, but I had no choice. Another long-term abductee, Ongon Donciano, ended up becoming an LRA commander before escaping. I think I work a bit, making my position. I was abducted in January 1998. I was abducted from here in Zira village, and while in Uganda they would send us to attack barracks, military barracks, they would send us to attack uh, places where there are civilians and then we loot food, we also do killings. Now coming back to the village really relieved me because I came to the people who understand me, mm. the people yeah. where I, to whom I belong mm. and uh, people who knew how I ended up in the bush. Mm. The village has shown incredible understanding and compassion for the returned abductees who now help out on a cooperative farm. As they try and reclaim their lives, like many other villagers all over northern Uganda, they now have hope for a better future. And for the first time in over 20 years, Akida Mariana and her family are now able to enjoy a sense of normality.